I've been watching your videos on YouTube and more than one time when I look at the charts, you said that you would like a bit deeper pullback. That's probably when somebody's asking about what stocks to trade. Why is that? Does a shallow pullback mean there are no sellers? That is good for longs because no selling pressure. Or do you want a deeper pullback so that it will knock stops and weak hands and will sell and maybe even somebody short selling, create a possible short squeeze scenario in the future? Yes. <laughs> I have been buying shallow pullbacks because these pullbacks are scary to buy. I, I don't think a deep pullback is scarier to buy. If anything, I'd be more comfortable buying a deep, deeper pullback. Anyway, I said, uh, I think you might answer your own question. A pullback needs to be deep enough to knock some players out and attract eager shorts. A deeper pullback within reason. And I said, see the slide below. I have the slide, a couple of slides below that I added in. Helps to ensure that and gives, helps ensure this and gives more of a reversion to the mean play back in the direction of the major trend. So the further that rubber band is stretched to the downside, the bigger the pop possibly and the faster the pop the market could come right back, kind of like a ball into water is what we're hoping for, okay? Now, if the overall market is in a solid trend and has shallow pullbacks, like if we get in a ripper and bull market and just have like these little bear flags, I'm sorry, bull flags a long way, hopefully that wasn't a Freudian slip, then by all means, you could trade more shallow pullbacks. I tend to, I tend to match the pattern to the market so right now, the market's beginning to roll over a bit. A lot of sectors are rolling over. A lot of sectors are making bow ties. So you'll notice that I'm starting to talk about shorts, and I recommended my first short today, KBH, as a bow tie to the downside. Uh, I don't want to go off too much on too much of a tangent, but you're not going to probably not going to get rich on the short side. I need to watch the way I say that because I don't want to set myself up for failure. But uh, it's very tough to make money on the short side. It, it seems easy when you first look at it, like, oh, I could make money if stocks go down. Well, shoot, <laughs> sign me up. But it's a little tougher than it looks. But anyway, with a, a, a deep pullback, there's a chance that it'll just keep on pulling back. And maybe that's a scary part for him. You're not catching that falling knife like we talked about last week. You're waiting for the market to begin to go back up. And if it gets stretched again to the downside, the chances of a pop back up or much better. So hopefully that answers his question. So if we were just taking taking the slide from trading full circle, when you're looking at the pullback, there's quite a few things you want to look for. And then the depth must be deep enough again to have knocked some players out, but not a bona fide reversal. Okay. So if you have a pullback that retraces a hundred percent of the last trend, then obviously it's no longer a pullback. Or if it pulls back all the way to a base, it's no longer a pullback. But if you're in a really solid trend or even an IPO that kind of just goes straight up and then comes back and has a deep pullback, then by all means, that's okay. And then, you know, if you think about like the, the trend knockouts, that's a one bar pullback pattern or it can be a one bar pullback pattern. And when you're looking at that, ask yourself, hey, if I was long this market, would that move have knocked me out? And that's a good question to ask yourself in general for whether or not a pullback is deep enough. But anyway, like I said last week at Bandcamp, you were looking for that reversion to the mean again within the established trend. And because we can only predict so far out as a trend following more on, the chances of that happening, that bounce is a lot better than the longer term trend. I put the word fairly certain in there. Sometimes it doesn't seem very certain at all.